for you label or condemn me. Don't treat me like a criminal, because I am innocent. It was the most humiliating ordeal of my life, but if this is what I have to endure to prove my innocence, so be it. Mr. Jackson has been repeatedly advised by those who stood to make fortunes in his business affairs to pay money rather than face certain false allegations. He did pay money rather than litigate two false allegations that he had harmed children. Jesus said to love the children and be like children. And he always surrounded himself like with children. And that's how I was raised, to believe and to be like that. In the last few weeks, a large amount of ugly, malicious information has been released into the media about me. Please keep an open mind and let me have my day in court. I deserve a fair trial like every other American citizen. I mean, nothing, really. I mean, we played video games. The thing is with that whole thing is that, you know, they go, oh, you slept in the same bedroom as him. It's like, I don't think you understand. Michael Jackson's bedroom is two stories. This case is about one thing only. It's about the dignity, the integrity, the decency, the honor, the charity, the innocence, and the complete vindication of a wonderful human being named Michael Jackson. I couldn't speak the truth any earlier than I did. I wish I could have. I wish I was emotionally and mentally capable earlier than I was. For me, it was never a film about Michael Jackson. This is a film about Wade Robson and James Safechuck and they and their families coming to terms with what happened to them as children. And in telling that story, we are in a position to educate people out there about how this kind of grooming child sexual abuse really goes on.